Then you have the third person version, and this one uh, lets you look around as normal, but then if you kind of look too far into the ground, it um, brings the cl camera closer. Cool. So what if you want to add some um, like UI elements and stuff? Well, the, the easiest way is to just uh, use a text gadget like that. And you can do icons like this. Like that. Yay! Uh, so you can do text gadget stuff and that will stick to the screen just fine. But what if you wanted something other than that? What if you wanted like a, a cool painting of an icon or whatever? We want that to kind of follow where the camera is. So even if the camera moves further forwards to avoid the wall and things like that, we want these icons and stuff to be able to be visible. So let's just do that. So now we're in that group again with the uh, cube and the camera and things. Uh, now we want we want to group the camera with some stuff um, that's like visible. So if we, I'm going to make a quick um, quick demo thing. So we probably actually let's go out. Right, so what we're doing here is scoping in to the camera to get its view. So we can scope in with L1 and X. And now we're in the camera's view, but then we use L1 and circle to get out of it again. And then we can edit things. So I'm just going to make, make um, a painting oh, that uh, has the same kind of size as our screen which will make things easier to uh, do later on right so now if we play um, you can play as normal but now we have this object that's always in front of the camera but then when we go behind a, a wall or something the camera moves forward but then we don't see the, that uh, stuff in front of the camera anymore so we actually instead of uh, moving the camera we want to move this thing here Oops. so select that and select that we want to move them as a group so now we can go in here and re-record into there by using L1 and X and press triangle on this so that it forgets it and then we can move this whole move that whole group closer like that and then it should work as normal so we've got that object that's like see through now but now it follows the camera properly and then we can put actual objects in that group and it will work just fine we turn that painting off you can still see it because we've got um, proving visibility off uh, and then we can make let's just do a quick thing boom it's a collectible or something so now we can place that there and again line it up oh line it up by just put that in front of the camera scope into the camera and then we can line that up over there or something so when you add um, things like this to your rig you want to make sure it's non-collidable so that it doesn't start shoving the puppet around uh, and now when we play that object is kind of part of our view even if we move the camera forwards and things like that um, and it all works fine uh, cool. So you can have kind of a mix of 3D and paint and text boxes and whatever you want to do um, in this kind of area. I'd like to thank Shadow of Callus, Woodsense, Colvitzer, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.